In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get mods for Minecraft in 2022 using Forge. Forge is the most popular mod platform out there, and we're going to be going over every single step of getting these Forge mods. I'm going to even show you how to find Forge mods. You probably have a few in mind that you want to install already, but I'm going to show you how to find additional ones and amazing ones that you can install in this video. Truthfully, some of the best mods out there from World Edit, which allows you to do amazing builds, to simple mods like just enough items that work well with other mods and allowing you to like see what's in them. For example, mods like Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod might be uh, kind of hard to know what the crafting recipes are. That's where Just Enough Items comes in to help you fix it. So overall, we're going to be showing you how to get any Minecraft mod that you want in 2022, as long as it's for the version of Forge that you're installing. So we're going to be going over all of that in this video. However, if you do want to play mods with your friends, look no further than the sponsor of this video, Apex Minecraft Host. You can go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. It can be on Forge. It can be with plugins. It is 100% up to you. We love Just Apex so much that we host our own server played our breakdown to craft.com on them so check out apex at the first link down below the breakdown to xyz slash apex to get your modded or not modded server up and running the choice is yours nevertheless we need to get forge to get minecraft mods installed it is the most popular mod loader out there and luckily, the second link down below will take you here. Now, you'll be wondering, why are you taking me to what is actually our website in order to get this mod? Well, that's because over the year, Minecraft will change, right? Right now, when the year is starting, 1.18.1 is the most recent version. By the end of 2022, it wouldn't surprise me if 1.20 is out. And so because of that, if you're watching this video and you notice it's not working, there's some issues. This video on our website will always be up to date with the most recent version of Minecraft. And that's one of the benefits of subscribing to this channel. When new versions come out, we always update the tutorials for them so you can make sure everything is going to work. Nevertheless, once you're here, scroll down and click on the green Download Forge button. That's going to take you to Forge's official download page where you want to make sure that the version of Minecraft that you want mods for is selected. So in the case right now, it's MC 1.18.1 or Minecraft 1.18.1. If you want to select an older version, you can just go on the left-hand side, like 1.17, right? Right here, you can select 1.17.1. Over this video, we are going to be using the most recent, which is Minecraft 1.18.1, and under the download latest, we want to click on Installer. Once you've clicked on that, it's going to take you off to Add Focus, where stop! Put your hands in the air, don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Do not click a single thing on this page. Wait 10 seconds when you get to this page here, and it might be a different ad, right? But when you click that Installer button, don't click anything on this page except the red Skip button that appears in the top right. The only thing that you want to click on this page is the red skip button that appears in the top right after about 10 seconds. When you click on that red skip button, Forge is going to download in the bottom left, where you will probably need to keep the file on Google Chrome. It might say this file may harm your computer or something like that. It's 100% safe, I promise. As long as you're doing everything we're doing in this video, you have nothing to worry about. Keep Forge in the bottom left. It's 100% safe to do so. On Mozilla Firefox, in the center of your screen, you'll need to save the file. So you're going to save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox or keep it in the bottom left of Google Chrome. Now, from there, we could go ahead and install Forge, but I think we should install some mods first and get those. Now, most likely you have a mod in mind that you want, and most likely that mod's going to be on Curse Forge. And that's why in the description down below, we have these mods linked, Just Enough Items and Journey Map. We're going to be installing both of these today, but we also have Curse Forge linked, and this is where you can find tons of awesome Minecraft mods. We're going to show you how to download mods from CurseForge. And one of the coolest things is if you want to make sure you get the correct version, we said Minecraft 1.18.1, right? You can only install Minecraft 1.18.1 mods. So we want to make sure that that game version is selected. And once you select that, all of these are updated to the most recent version and you're going to be good to install them. Nevertheless, though, let's go ahead and get just enough items. Again, link in the description. Once you're here, click on that yellow download button. And that's going to take you to CurseForge. 90% of the mods that you use will be for CurseForge and just enough items is no exception. So once once you're here, you want to come over here to the right hand side, scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.18, and then under that you'll see JEI, or Just Enough Items, 1.18.1. Click the orange download button to the right of that, and the download will begin after a few seconds. Just like Forge, you'll probably need to keep this in the bottom left of Google Chrome, or save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. It's 100% safe to do that, and it's been downloaded 145 million times, so Just Enough Items is guaranteed to be safe. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on that journey map link in the description, assuming you wanted this mod, and again we'll scroll down and click on download journey map. Once you're here, the process is the same. Come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down. Now, one thing I do want to mention is sometimes you might see a Forge or a Fabric version of a mod. 
Fabric is, let's say, a competitor model to Forge. There's nothing wrong with Fabric, but in this video, we're showing you how to get Forge mods. If you want to see how to get Fabric mods, check out the eye at the top of your screen. However, you cannot install Fabric mods with Forge, and you can't install Forge mods with Fabric. So you want to make sure you're always downloading the Forge version. If there's only one version, usually it's going to be for Forge, and that's the case with Journeymap. So you can see Journeymap 1.18.1 under the Minecraft 1.18 section. Go on that orange button to download it. And again, you need to keep it or save it in the bottom left. Last but not least, I do want to mention again in the description down below there's the get more mods link and that link will take you here it shows you tons of different mods that are all updated i mean there's 132 pages of mods updated to minecraft 1.18.1 so there's no basically you know shortage of mods Here's another minimap mod, Xero's minimap, and the reason I wanted to click on this is it has what I was talking about, a Forge version and a Fabric version. So in this case, you would want to make sure you're downloading the Forge version of this mod. However, if it only had the Fabric version, you couldn't install it with Forge using this method, unfortunately. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and minimize our browser, and we want to get Forge and the mods we downloaded through our desktop because that's the easiest place to use them. Nevertheless, to do that, you want to click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, unless you're on Windows 11. Then it'll be in the center of your screen, and this tutorial does work on Windows 11. When you click on that, you want to type in downloads, and then you'll have this downloads file folder. Open that, and in here you'll have all the mods you downloaded as well as Forge. So as you can see, we have just enough items, we have Forge itself, and we have Journey Map. Now, if these files look different for you, that's okay. I'm going to show you how to get these Java coffee cup logos here in one second. Just keep watching the tutorial. If you have any issues with this tutorial, by the way, watch the entire thing, because most of the time, we fix a lot of these issues. Not all of them, but a lot of them we do fix along the way. Now let's, let's go ahead and see if we can open up Forge first. To do that, you want to right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. If you don't have Java here, we're going to fix it. Just keep watching. But if you do, click OK, and the Forge installer, mod system installer, right like this, should open up. If it doesn't though, but you had Java, that's because you need Java 17. And guess what? Every issue I've talked about so far, from the icons being broken, to not having Java when you do Open With, to even the logos being different, all of that is fixed by downloading and installing Java 17 from the description down below. Now, while I'm recording this video, it's Java 17. In the future, let's say with Minecraft 1.20, this might change to Java 18. But the good news is, the link in the description will always be up to date with the most recent version of Java that is compatible with Minecraft. So the time I'm recording this, it's Java 17. If this says Java 18 in the future, that's the correct version. You're good to go ahead and proceed with this tutorial because it's correct. That's one of the benefits of us using our website and basically leveraging the fact that we can change that all the time, even though these videos, once they're made, are set in stone. So once you're here, you want to go through this simple tutorial. It's an easy three-step tutorial to get Java. Then after you've done that, you should be able to open up Forge, but if you can't, that's because you need the jar fix. And this is going to link all those jar files back to Java and make them work together amazingly, right? And as always, this is updated very regularly if it needs to be. But the jar fix, one of the great things is it just kind of works usually. But when we do need to update it, we do, and uh, also a three-step tutorial. Now we can go ahead and finally minimize our browser and your icons after installing the jar fix and Java will be fixed. You should be able to right-click now on Forge, click on Open With. If you didn't have Java here, you should have it. And if you did, you should be able to click on it and click OK. If you do have issues, and you had Java there, right? And it just doesn't work, doesn't open up this. It's because we need to go to that Windows icon again, and we need to type in apps and features. In apps and features, we then need to search for Java. You wanna make sure the only version of Java you have installed the time I'm recording this is 17. But if on our website it said, let's like, say, Java 18 here, that means you need to make sure it's only Java 18. But nevertheless, you only wanna make sure the most recent version, which is 17, at the time I'm recording this, is installed. All their versions can be uninstalled by clicking on them and clicking that button. Nevertheless, we should now be able to open up the mod system install for Forge. And once we're here, we wanna click on install client and click okay. This is gonna go through, install, do everything that it needs to do to get Forge installed in Minecraft 1.18.1. The only reason you would have an issue here is if you've not played the version of Minecraft that you're trying to install Forge for. For example, if you hadn't played Minecraft 1.18.1 and you tried to install Forge, it wouldn't work. Go play it with no mods, no anything, just vanilla Minecraft, and then come back and this will work. And that's true for, like I said, 19 or 20. Just replace 1.18 with those versions and it's the same story. Now let's go ahead and click OK here and it will close out of the mod system install for Forge. You can actually delete Forge from your desktop now. 
we can then move on to installing these mods. To do that, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we want to make sure that the Forge profile is selected. Now, most likely yours is going to be automatically selected. And if it isn't, I'm going to show you how to select it. But mine, as you can see, is automatically selected. And as long as it says 1.18-Forge under it, you're good to click play and then click play again, confirming you're playing mod in Minecraft. However, if you don't have Forge here, what you want to do is click on this little arrow next to the play button and select Forge from this list. If Forge isn't in this list, or it is, and it doesn't say the correct version, the Forge that you want under it, we need to click on installations up here at the top. Then you want to make sure this modded checkbox is selected. As you can see, I deselect it, Forge disappears, select it, there's Forge, click play, click play again. But last but not least, if it's still not here or the version isn't correct, click on new installations. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com, which is our incredible Minecraft survival and skyblock server. Amazing updates there. Come play on it. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Nevertheless, let's go and click on the version drop down box. And then we want to select release Forge. So release 1.18.1-Forge right here. This is the one we want to select. Now, your version numbers may be different, but we want to make sure it's whatever version of Minecraft you want at the beginning. Forge, and then you're good to go. Go ahead and select that version. I'm going to change the resolution. You don't need to, but as long as the release forward is selected here, you can click create in the bottom right. We now have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile with the correct version of Forge under it. And we can go ahead and click the green play button, confirm we're playing mod in Minecraft and click play again. Now Minecraft's going to open up and the hard part's done. The hardest part of getting Minecraft mods is installing Forge. From here on out, it is super, super easy to get these mods installed, get them working, and then playing Minecraft with them. It, it, it's all simple. Literally, it's just going to be some dragging and dropping and restarting Minecraft. Nevertheless, I want to kind of keep this rolling here because you're seeing how long it can take to open up Minecraft with a mod loader like Forge installed. It's not going to be as quick as vanilla Minecraft is, so keep that in mind. Wait. That is a big thing that I have to, you know, kind of preach in mod videos is wait. If it seems like it's frozen, it probably isn't. Just wait it out and it will most likely fix itself. But here we are. We are in Minecraft. As you can see in the bottom left, Forge is installed and there's this mods tab on the main menu. We want to go ahead and click on that mods tab on the main menu. And then once we've opened it up, you want to click on the open mods folder button in the bottom left. Once we've clicked on that open mods folder button, it's going to open the mods folder. Then we want to take just enough items, journey map, and any other forge map mod you want to install. And it doesn't have to install these, by the way. You can install any forge mods you want, as long as they're for the version of Minecraft that you have forge installed for. Drag and drop these in. And as you can see, these are for the correct version and we're good to go. The mods are installed. Just drag and drop the mods you want into this mods folder. However, when you come back to Minecraft, they won't be here and they're never going to be here until you click done and you quit the game. Then we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher again. And then in here, we want to make sure that we have that Forge profile selected. But guess what? You don't have to recreate it. You either have the one that you had, you know, originally, or you'll have the one that you made. In our case, play.breakdowncraft.com. Make sure one of those is selected. Click play. You may have to confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft again. It just depends. And then it'll open up Minecraft with your mods installed. We'll check them out once we get in game. But overall, these are working. These mods are installed. You now know how to install mods in Minecraft in 2022. It's that simple and that easy. Uh, the hard part, like I said, was getting Forge. After that, it's so easy to install mods and all mods are just dragged and dropped into that mods folder that we opened from the mods tab. So I'll show you here by going to the mods tab that these mods are installed, but we'll also jump on Breakdown Craft and show you there as well. So as you can see, we are loading up and once we are in game, we can click on mods here from the main menu and there is our mods, journey map, and just enough items. We can also jump into the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com, and we will be able to, if we go ahead and hit E, see there is just enough items. I was searching a fence before, but nevertheless, there's just enough items. And if we do search a fence, we can, for example, see how to craft that. If we wanted to see, uh, I don't know, I'm feeling like uh, different stuff that you can open and enter into areas with. So there's a door. How do you get planks? You can strip down all of that stuff to get them. So nevertheless, that is how you can do that. And if we go ahead and hit F1 here, we'll be able to see there is a journey map in the top right. And uh, if you move around, it unlocks more. However, the biggest thing about Journey Map is being able to hit J and open up this, specifically this right here, which is actually a full scale map where you can zoom in and see stuff, zoom out, see more stuff, all of that. Absolutely incredible. And one of the things I absolutely love about the Journey Map mod, that's why it's my favorite mini map, because as you unlock new areas and see new things, you'll be able to pull it up on that big mini map. You can also set waypoints, by the way, if we go into this mini map and we want to say this was like spawn here, spawn area, right? We can type that in and, uh, and set a waypoint for that. So spawn area, change the color to light green, save. And then if we turn around, there it is, the spawn area waypoint. So nevertheless, 
that is how you can install mods in Minecraft in 2022. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends if they want to know how to install mods. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.